Hello everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. The first story title is In the beginning, creation of the world. Sorry, my voice is not good. We live in a beautiful world. Just look at the amazing things around you. Let's go back to the beginning and see what the Bible tells us about how it all began. So we're going to read the Bible stories in this channel. And Bible will tell us who is our true God and who have made us and made the animals like those things you can see from here. Also, I have gone to a Bible, like summer Bible camp. Like, and in there, I have done something so my voice is a little bit okay. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. God moved over the dark darkness and said light. He called the light day and he called the not darkness night. Day one, done. In the beginning, there was nothing in the whole world. There was just only darkness. God was only there. God said they should be a light. So God made the light. So day and night. Maybe this is day and this is night, right? <laughs> when God made a space to separate the waters above from the waters below. He called the space God day one of oh, sorry day two then so God has separate waters above and he also like he called the space God like that means God has made this God right? So sometimes it happens. So sometimes it happens. I don't know why. God gathered the waters together and dried ground appeared. He called the ground land and the water seas. Then he made plants like grass, grains and trees. They three then. So God has made the waters water God has separate water and the dry ground. The dry ground made his land and the water part is seas. I like to go to beach. There's a question. What did God make on one day one? Number one, light. Number two, the trees. Number three, the animals. Number three, it has didn't come here. The answer was number one. When God made lights, 
in the sky, he made the sun for the day, the moon for the night, all the stars, day for them. So God made the light bright. He made the sun, the moon, stars, the planets. I can remember the planet's name. <laughs> God made fish to swim in the waters and birds to fly in the sky. Half baby and <laughs> throat. Have babies, he told them. Fill the world with splashing and singing. Day five done. So, in the water, animal God has made the fishes. The fishes to swim in the water. Next, God made animals. He made farm animals, wild animals, and the animals that crawl, crawl on the ground. Just one more thing to make. God said the most special thing of all. So next, God made animals. The wild animals who crawls on the land. There are so many animals in this world. Yeah. Actually, you know, the monkeys always eat banana in this Bible stories. You know, like one monkey gives the banana always to the monkey. In this like Bible stories, I have read this many times. So in this image, God made a man and a woman have babies. He said, "Take change, take change, charge of the world. Care for the fish, the birds, and the animals. They sex them." So on day six, the God has made the most special things of all. That's the human. God has made us in His image. Question: Were the animals the most special thing of God has made? Now the most special thing was human people. Then God looked at everything He had made. It was very good. He said so on the seventh day. He rested and made that. A special day, day seven. Then, at seventh day, it is Sunday, right? And Sunday we go to church. I think it, that was meaning. Question was God pleased with his creation and he rested on the seventh day. True. 
Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? And next time I will read another story. Then let's see you next time. Bye! Mm-hmm.